UTC takes a step back to normal with commencement. We will show you how. See how UTC professors take a step forward to help female high school students to realize a career in engineering? I'm Jessica Coco. See what's underneath the Tennessee River. And I'm Kayla Figures. Your news starts now. It's a big moment for UTC. Commencement is here for MOX graduates with a more traditional ceremony. A series of nine commencement ceremonies started Wednesday at McKenzie Arena. The ceremony is marked with all the traditional moments, including four guests for each graduate to witness the moment in person. Each ceremony has been marked so far with the toss of the caps in the air at the end. Congratulations, MOX. You earned this moment. Chattanooga female high school students are finding out how they can innovate and create with the help of UTC engineering professors. Here's the story. Today we are featuring a young senior from the Chattanooga Girls Leadership Academy. She is interested in attending UTC College of Engineering and Computer Science in August, and we are super excited to support her in that goal. We are always looking to have more females in our Engineering and Computer Science College, and so we want to support our female prospective students in any way we can. So our student today is working very closely on her senior project with Dr. Louie Elliott in Mechanical Engineering. So today I actually came here for my senior project and to like test out two of my frames that I had over there. Um, it was for my senior project which included being like <laughs> IndyCar and Formula One which they have like protection systems now and today I strength tested my frames so I can like see what is the strength to like ratio to see which one of both of my frames was stronger than the other one. And I collected that data, and I will present that on Friday. It got cool this week, but it's still warmed up this week. Here's Jules to tell us what happened next for us. Get ready, we're looking at a 100% chance of thunder showers forecast on Saturday. However, after that, it's gonna be warm and partly sunny through the weekend with a high of 71 degrees on Sunday. Temperatures will continue to rise, reaching a high of 81 degrees on Monday, then soaring to a high of 85 degrees on Tuesday and Wednesday. But those high temperatures will cool down to a high of 63 degrees, low of 61, with rain showers on Wednesday night. Next Thursday, we're looking at a 40 to 50 percent chance of rain showers and occasional thunder with temperatures falling into the 60s and 70s. It's looking like there will be potential for rain showers next Friday and Saturday as well. Caleb and Jessica, back to you. The Blazers got blazed. And the Braves get a big win against the Yankees. Chauncey Figures had those stories for us. Nikola Jovic scored 25 points, made three key free throws down the stretch to give the Denver Nuggets a 106-105 victory over the Portland Trailblazers on Wednesday night. Michael Porter Jr. added 17 points, all in the opening quarter. And the Nuggets won their fourth straight. Damian Lillard scored 22 points for Portland, which has struggled against Western Conference team that sit higher in the ranking. The Trailblazers lost their third straight. Up next for the Nuggets is a visit to Golden State on Friday. A Red Sox fan from upstate New York, Ian Anderson, imagined he might one day win at Yankee Stadium. Probably he wasn't pitching a Bronx Bomber lineup so thoroughly lacking in punch. Anderson took a shutout into the seventh inning and Austin Riley hit a run to put the icing on the cake that get, gave the Atlanta Braves four hits to beat listless New York 4-1 to one Wednesday night. Up next for the Braves is a game Friday against the Diamondbacks as they open a three-game home set. Back to you, Caleb and Jessica. Sometimes what lies beneath can be an incredible story about our Tennessee Valley history. Archaeology students discovered that recently on the Tennessee River, with the help of UTC archaeology professor Morgan Smith, 
they searched the waters of the Tennessee River for a lost paddle boat called the SS Chattanooga. It happened during the Civil War. The results are being analyzed. We will let you know what happened. That does it for this edition of Mox News. Thank you for joining us. Make sure to check out our website at moxnews.com to continue following the news throughout the week. And congratulations to our Mox News graduates, Jessica Coco and Charlize Lundy. Stay safe.